Today, we say that we are sorry. An historical apology for historical for that, wrongs. We are truly sorry. From the state, religious orders and institutions that failed to keep thousands of children safe. We are indeed sorry for this. In places they were supposed to be protected. We apologise for letting you down when you needed us most. Survivors like Margaret and Kate waited five more years after an apology was recommended in 2017. An inquiry into historical institutional abuse found hundreds of children were abused at church and state-run institutions over seven decades. Compensation was also recommended. Margaret has led the campaign for justice for the last 15 years. Well, it's, it's just bittersweet. You know, we wanted this apology many, many years ago. We wanted someone to say sorry when we were yet little children, just like children here. You know, that's my family. You know, no one said um, sorry to my brother in particular. Uh, when he was raped and abused, he blamed himself, my brother Kevin. And he carried that blame and the shame and the pain all of his life. Lawyer Claire McKeegan represents the majority of the abuse survivors. An apology took so long, she says some aren't here to hear it. Well, over the years, I have had the misfortune of losing clients along the way due to suicide. Many survivors of child abuse carry all the hallmarks of trauma in, in childhood, um, including addiction to alcohol, to drugs, poverty, deprivation, um, and, and a lack of care for themselves because no one's ever loved them before. No one's ever cared for them. And do you still have victims and survivors contacting you today? Oh yes, we have been contacted in the last week. Um, every week we have, on average, five or six new referrals. For Kate, it's all too little, too late, and she's angry it's taken so long. It's totally destroyed me. Everything has destroyed me from a child, you know, they've, they've just destroyed my life, you know. I suppose at the end of it, I, I do have to forgive, but I still have to love it the rest of my life until my last breath, how much they tortured me. The pair say this apology will help others who have carried decades of shame alone find the courage to come forward. Emily Wither, 5 News.